This is a mm. high altitude coffee, sir. We have launched this one also, sir, for the Brahmin style coffee, Agraharam style coffee. Mouth fill will be very less than. It has only Arabica AAA coffees uh -huh. and mainly we use this for uh, especially for black coffees. Okay. This is for people who drink pure coffee with milk. We have uh, Colombian coffees and uh, Brazilian coffees. The next one is the Italian roast. Some people want very unique coffees. Uh -huh. For them we have two ultra premium coffees. This is monkey coffee. Mm. And next, coming to the wild coffee, we procure it from the periphery estates of Muttodi forest. The taste profile of every person is different. Every tongue is different. Uh. The one who drinks black coffee, we cannot make him drink with milk. The one who drinks strong coffee, we cannot make him drink lighter one. The one who drinks cheaper coffee, we cannot make him drink an expensive coffee. You're saying this is your palate, this is your palate, this is your palate. So here's a coffee for you, here's a coffee for you, here's a coffee for you. Yes, sir. I'm doing well, Chennai ke dilay. Hello, Lord Salla, not kine. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Can I mat te ira? Follow ira pure. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Our next stop is at a coffee institution that goes back many decades, and I was first introduced to this a couple of years ago, and I must tell you that since then I've been tasting plenty of their coffee. Namaskara. Namaskara, sir. Chana ke dira. Chana ke dine ke dira. Sir, fine, sir. Uh? Very nice, sir. Nice. Sir, pleasure, sir. Namaskara, namaskara. I am Venkatesh. Sridhar. When I visited Chikmagluru a couple of years ago, I was told by my good friend, of course, now my good friend, then somebody I just met, Charles Baptist, saying that if you go to Chikmagluru, you have to visit Panduranga Coffee and explore their take on the coffee tradition oh. for how many years now? Uh, nearly 85 years, sir. Nearly 85 years. Yeah. Venkatesh Sridhar and also the other brother Deepak, they've been popularizing the cause of Chikmagluru <laughs> coffee for a while. This was begun by my yes. father, K.P. Satyanarayan Chetty. I think when I came here first, no, the only two varieties was there, sir. Uh, actually, now we have we have launched so many varieties, sir. Wild coffee, sir. Wild coffee. Wild, Wild coffee. coffee. We get the beans from the forest area, sir. Okay. We get the beans from the forest, Muthodi forest area. Huh. This is a mm. high altitude coffee, sir. Okay. High altitude coffees are very aromatic. Really? Because of the low oxygen in the high altitudes, huh. bean growth is super slow. Mm. The aroma development is extremely high. It stays nearly two months longer than other coffees. Uh, that is a valve. It allows you to take in the aroma yes, of the yes, coffee yes. even before you sip on it. Not only that, sir. Uh. Not only that. It, uh, it enhances the shelf life of the coffee. All right. So there's it's no... It's a one level. You can yes. keep the coffee for one year. It won't allow the oxygen to spoil the coffee. Wonderful. Recently, we have launched a high voltage, high voltage coffee. Okay. This is having more chicory, 40% chicory ah. and uh, good quality coffee powder. All right. So, in fact, uh, when I visited Panduranga Coffee about two years ago, I also visited their uh, roasting facility. They do some roasting here too. Yes, sir. Yes, but sir. One of the biggest drum roasters that you will find in this part of the country is in their facility and we had visited them. So if you haven't caught my earlier vlog, I'm going to place a link in the description below. Do take a look at it. We have launched this one also, sir, for the Brahmin style coffee. Brahmin style coffee? Yes. So what is the Brahmin style Brahmin coffee, style sir? Brahmin style coffee, Agraharam style coffee. Uh, so Andre, yeah. how is the coffee? You know, in the temple, there is a necklace in the temple. That is, belongs to priests and uh, Brahmin's family, sir. Uh. So, Ali you know, they, they are having own variety of uh, specialty coffee. Uh -huh. They prepare by themselves. They roast by themselves. Uh -huh. They are having their own family recipes. The recipes we collect from them and we have uh, made this blend actually. Wonderful. Oh, it's also got very less chicory. Only, yes. only 10%. 10%. They use only little chicory. Little That's chicory. why only 10% chicory. The mouthfeel will be very less. The and that's why it's a 90-10. So, Andre, it's a little bit of 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 Actually, it gives body in the cup, sir. Gives body in the cup. Viscosity, good viscosity in the cup. Thickness in the cup. 
So the nazaka or the delicateness comes from the arabica. Yes. yes. The robusta gives structure. Yes. Yes. Right. And if you add chicory, it gives that added mouth feel. Added mouth slightly caramel and tone. Caramel yeah. finish. Ah, wonderful. So in fact, I, if I remember correctly, we also got the roasting of some of the chicory at yes. their roast tree yes, yes, the sir. last time around. So do take a look at that episode. I think the one thing they seem to excel here at Panduranga is showcase of the traditions of coffee because after all, they've been around. For a fairly long time. And See, this uh, is a Peabody coffee. Peabody is a round bean, sir. Correct. Usually, beans will be twins. So, this is a monocot. Only monocot. Ah. See, the it's nutrition like... value goes to two beans, it goes to only one bean. Ah. Naturally, the quality and aroma will be more in this. Oh, wonderful. That means we procure and we process it for this blend. So, one of the things that I appreciate about Panduranga coffee here, it's an old fashioned coffee house that's of course, celebrates the traditions of coffee over the decades. But what I'm seeing in the last two years is they're also introducing blends, I think, yes. for the consumers of yes, today. Yes, yes, sir, right? yes, sir. And at the back is a coffee which yeah, is yeah, something this one that is we our use. old blend, sir. This is not an endorsement. I'm not being paid by Panduranga coffee, but this is a coffee that we use and we order this every month or so. Well, the other brother, Deepak has joined us now and in the episode that I was referring to, in the vlog that I was referring to, he was the one who took me to their roastery. Thank you. Welcome uh, again, sir. Thank you very much. But it's really nice to see the, uh, the uh, enhancement of the Panduranga coffee tradition. I think when we came in last time, the first time actually, there were two coffees, Grand Aroma yes, and the Made in Chikmagluru. And of course, now with your brothers, Venkatesh and Sridhar, we've looked at the whole journey <laughs> that you guys have made. Huh? The taste profile of every person is different. Every tongue is different. Uh. So, the thing is, the person who drinks tea, we cannot make him drink coffee. Uh. The one who drinks black coffee, we cannot make him drink with milk. The one who drinks strong coffee, we cannot make him drink lighter one. Uh. The one who drinks cheaper coffee, we cannot make him drink an expensive coffee. So. We need to match every ah. type of people in the market. You know, he's very smart. So he's not... Well, talking about coffee, if you have some coffee too, I'm why not? Sir. What about you? I'll take it again, sir. Yeah. So what's interesting is that they're trying to create a coffee blend for every palate. Yes, sir. That's it. You're not saying, okay, fine. This is your palate, but this is what your palate should be tasting. You're saying, this is your palate, this is your palate, this is your palate. So here's a coffee for you, here's a coffee for you, here's a coffee for you. Yes, sir. We cannot make, uh, we cannot force them to drink ah, what we like. Wonderful. So, speaking of drinking, what am I drinking now? What this is, uh, uh, I think it's Grand Aroma, usually. Aroma mm. Gold. It's Aroma Gold. Ah. 30% chicory. 30% chicory. For commercial use. And so what I see also is now you have some 100% coffees as well, is it? Yes, sir. So this is called Mysore Nuggets. It has only Arabica AAA coffees. Uh -huh. And mainly we use this for, uh, especially for black coffees. This is the ultimate one. The roasting color of this one is just, it's a half city roast. The full city roast, uh, the oils just start appearing onto the surface. That's actually full city roast. Okay. This is half city roast because people drink black. So it's not a deep roast. It's not deep roast. It's medium, just medium roast. We have uh, Colombian coffees and uh, Brazilian coffees. These so, are imported coffees. So that's interesting. So earlier it was only Chikmangalur coffee. Yes, sir. Now we have, we have so started. So now you're bringing coffees from the world. Yes, sir. We want people to enjoy all types of coffees ah. around the world. That's it. You know, but the one thing that you must remember, and I think this is a matter of pride when it comes to Indian coffee. Most Indian coffee is shade-grown coffee. Yes. So therefore, this coffee is also hand-picked. Hand-picked. Hand-harvested. Whereas some of the Latin American coffees are coffees that grow in large fields. Yes, sir. They, they, uh, even the harvesting they do in the machinery. With the combines. They vibrate the whole tree and they are ah. going to get the fruit. That's, uh, that's a different process. We cannot compare this with Indian coffees anyhow. Yeah. It's slightly bland compared to the Indian coffee. Much lighter. Indian coffees is uh, more, it is more with the spicy notes. Colombian coffees is slightly caramelly, slightly citrus. And depends on the uh, altitude that is grown also. That is also interesting when it comes to Indian coffee. When you look at an Indian coffee estate, it's a complete ecosystem. So you'll have some silver oak, you'll have some pepper wines running it through it. You'll have probably some jackfruit trees somewhere. And then the coffee it's is growing grown. under all that. So, so I think the terroir or the earth, the bhumi, right. that also probably lends character. The soil. Right? soil. The soil. Ah. The, soil. the Chikmangalur soil has more 
uh, iron content in it. Uh. So you get the spicy notes in the cup, which uh. is not available in the foreign coffees uh. like. Wonderful. The next one is the Italian roast. This is also having Arabica coffees, but the roast color is darker. You get the smoky notes in the cup. So I can see that it says espresso roast. So yes, espresso roast. It's espresso been designed for is, high heat, yes, yes. high temperature extraction, yes, yes. high pressure extraction. Yes, sir. The coffee will be more brittle. And um, really speaking, uh, if you make a darker roast, you cannot find the uh, what is that? Uh, origin of the coffee. Origins are masked when you do the darker roast. So why would they want to mask the origins? Because they can use a little bit uh, cheaper variety coffees. That's the main reason. Ah. That's interesting. So he says if the quality, if the provenance of the coffee is not great, then you mask that by a darker roast. So that coffee doesn't have much to offer in terms of its attributes. Yes. You, uh, the original flavors it. are masked. Ah, wonderful. So they go with the Italian roast. You know, that's what I learn from Deepak every time I come and meet him. I learn something new, something fascinating. So the next one is, uh, we have another coffee called as Happy Day. Ah. This has 80% of Arabicas and 20% uh, of Robustas in it. Okay. This is for people who drink pure coffee with milk. The thing is, you get that uh, viscous cup and uh, you get that more uh, little bit of caramel notes will be more in this. Mm. And uh, it will be stronger compared to that uh, Mysore Nuggets coffees. This is mainly for milk based coffees and people who expect pure coffee, no chicory in that. Between me, whichever city we have been going, before selecting which hotel to go, we just open your blog uh, and we just see what you have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, very kind of you. Nice meeting. You. Nice to meet you yeah. too, sir. Thank you. Of course, they're a coffee house, so they cater to different tastes. And that's what I like about what they're trying to do out here. They're basically finding out what your palate in coffee is and then presenting to your coffee that that's best it. fits your bill. Yes, so really sir. customers are playing you play your sir. Your type of coffee in yes. Bekunimge. First, we'll identify the person like whether he is from which state. Ah. Depending on the state, depending on the country, we are going to give them cater the coffees. Really? Yes. So the thing is, some people want very unique coffees. Ah. For them, we have two ultra premium coffees. These huh. are the two ultra premium coffees. Huh. This is monkey coffee. Mm. These monkeys in the estate, they choose the ripe fruit. Mm. They put it in its mouth, they chew it, and it will swallow the pulp and spit the bean. That's right. So basically, it takes in the mucilage, yes. but the bean, it leaves it yes. off. The, the amylase that is present in the mouth, it will react with the coffee bean and the bean quality gets transformed. That's a, uh, that's a natural different process. So these planters, what they do is they collect uh, these seeds from the estate floors and they use keep it for their house purpose. It so is one of the expensive coffee again. So you know, this is a tradition that has been around yeah, for a long time. Long time. But the volumes what we get is very less. That's ah. the only thing. So that's why it's probably also an expensive, expensive. Uh, coffee. So how much is this? It's uh, almost uh, 600 rupees for half kilo. Oh, okay. Okay, as opposed to let's say something like Grand Aroma which yes. is about 600 rupees for a kilo. Yes. People who want unique coffees, ah. they can go with this. And next coming to the wild coffee. Ah. We have named it as wild. You might be wondering why it is wild. Hmm. So these coffees, we procure it from the periphery estates of Muttodi forest. Okay. So. As you know, the forest will be having no fence. These wild animals in the forest, they roam around even in the Coffee estate. estates. Okay, say for example, if a bison comes, it puts a minimum 20 kilos of gober. Ah. So the DNA structure of gober itself is different and the, the manuring itself is different. So that basically adds to the character of yes. the coffee. That's the reason we have named so when it I as taste wild. It, what, do, what will I taste? Sir, it's very unique. If you we cannot exp if ah. you experience that, then only you'll know that it's so good. I think the next you step for Panduranga now that they have all these coffees, they should probably also create a tasting <laughs> room here where you can go and sip on all these coffees. Sir, so the thing is, we don't want people who drink coffee. We want people who enjoy coffee. That's very important ah. for us. I can smell some aromas wafting from the yes, facility. Let's take a look at what's brewing inside or what's roasting inside here at Panduranga. So that's a huge roaster. Yes, sir. It's a 120 kilo roaster. 
So what coffee is this? Uh... It's a regular blend. It's pre-blended coffee right now. Okay. This is pre-blended. What all things? Depending on the requirements, we are going to blend the coffee beans. Uh. Say, if I want only plantation triple A, we say roast it separately. Okay. For some blends, medium blends or whatever, uh, we need to blend it depending on the costing and the taste profile. So this is a combination. So yeah, you can see the different coffees here. I can see some pea berry here. This pea berry, pea yes, berry. that's pea berries. It has even robustas in it. Ah, it's a, what so the blend, what you are seeing here, it's a regular blend. It's not special one. Ah, okay. What blend is this? So this is Peaberry blend. Pea what I'm roasting blend. now, it's Peaberry blend. So I can see a lot of the round Yeah, blend. only round beans. But there's also some double this thing there, right? That sometimes the coffees get broken inside. When it is delicate, it breaks. It breaks, okay. So this is an air mixer. Air mixer. It's used in pharmaceutical industry, but we are using it in our industry. In pharmaceutical industry, the filler agent will be mixed with the right chemical. Ah. Say, for example, one or two grams of chemical is mixed with 100 kgs of uh, filler. filler agents. Ah. So at that moment, you need that homogeneous mixing. To simplify things, when they blend the coffee powder and with the chicken powder. powder together, they don't mix it by hand. He says, one day you may be tasting coffee, the next day you may be tasting more of chicory. But out here, they have a machine. It's a blender, coffee chicory mixer. It's a coffee chicory air mixer, air blender, where they basically throws up the particles of the yes, coffee right. and chicory and then it mixes in the homogenizes. air. Homogenizes. Homogenizes, that's it. Wonderful. If you take a random sample of co the coffee powder output, na, uh, what we mentioned in the pouch will be perfectly matching this one. That's ah, it. that tells you that these folks are serious about their coffee. <laughs> This is a unique machine from Germany. The thing is, once the coffee is roasted, it will uh. leave out flavor oils to the surface. That's the main thing what we need, that oils, flavor, flavor oils. Oil. Uh, in the normal conventional grinders, if you grind it, because of the heat and friction, all the flavor oils get evaporated. But in this machine, it literally cuts the beans. It won't crush. And uh, the output will be in the room temperature. It won't go even one degree beyond uh, the room so temperature. So you're not losing those essential yes, oils. Yes, total oils, oils will be retained and it is transferred to the cup. So all these are packing machines. Uh, it will automatically form the cover. Uh, it seals, counts, cuts, packs, fills. Everything it will do by itself. And the output of each machine is almost 60 packets per minute. So we have different, like uh, for 2 rupees, 50 grams, 100 grams, 250 grams, 500 grams. We have separate machines for that. It's a lot of coffee. Yeah. Ours is the largest roasting plant. Largest roasting plant. You know, size is one aspect of any operation, but I think the other aspect of it is the seriousness with which they do it. You know, I've met Deepak, I think this is the third time that I'm meeting him, but each time I meet him, he's very enthusiastic and sometimes I'm wondering if he can get everything that he says on camera because there is so much that we then have to edit down. But it's apparent that this man is passionate about his coffee and also about the work that they're doing here. So if you visit Chikmangalur and want to really taste some serious coffee, beginning from the traditions of the past, from 1938, sir. all the way to the present, definitely check out Panduranga Coffee Works when you arrive in this coffee town. If you'd like to support the work that we do at Food Lovers TV, do consider joining our membership community on YouTube by hitting the join button below or on the home page. You could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage, shoot updates, access to live Q&As and a lot more. You could support us on our Patreon page as well. For more info, check out the links in the description below. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating!